welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Um, today we're using the Position It by the wonderful people at Score It All in conjunction with two sketches for you, which is this wonderful blog site, challenge site, and Lawn Fawn stamps. Um, right now I'm just showing you the little grippy bottoms on the bottom of this positioner. Um, and so it makes it so it doesn't slip, so you never have to worry about it coming off your paper. And then the other even additional thing you can use are these little pegs that fit into the holes there and keep that right angle there perfectly in place on your position it grid mat, which I really love because it means that I don't have to worry about it moving all over the place. So I have my position it all ready to go. So now I can start stamping. The first thing that I do is use a removable adhesive and I put it down on there because I don't want my paper to move around at all and I guess it's just a little precautionary measure and then there's a little piece of uh, white cardstock that I'm going to use to stamp on and the technique we're going to do today is kind of like an ombre style like tie-dye kind of but just one shade um, I know I'm saying that word incorrectly but it's O-M-B-R-E with an accent in French if anybody speaks French let me know <laughs> that's partly cloudy by Lawn Fawn that you just saw and I'm using a large umbrella picking it up with my acrylic block and I'm going to be using three colors of Distress Ink today. Spun Sugar, Worn Lipstick, and then Barn Door. But we're going to start with the Spun Sugar. So right now, um, I've got my paper ready. I'm inking up my stamp in the Spun Sugar. And I'm just going to get it right in that corner of the position it and press down. And you're going to see my image right there. Now, I definitely want a darker color of this spun sugar. And the cool thing about Distress Inks is when you layer them you get a darker color. So this is perfect for using the Position It because I know that I'm going to get exactly over the stamp. So even though it's a clear stamp, this guarantees that I'm not going to get any kind of fuzzy double image. It's going to be perfect. So as you can see, now it's this kind of darker pink. This was exactly what I was looking for. So now I'm going to use the Worn Lipstick Ink, which is another shade darker than the spun sugar. And I'm just inking up the top of the umbrella and now using a baby wipe to remove some of the ink um, that, that is on the bottom because I only I want kind of a curved edge along the edge of the umbrella and I definitely don't want any on the handle of the umbrella. And you're going to see now when I stamp down using the position it so that it's perfectly aligned that uh, I'm going to have this layer of darker pink above the light pink which I think looks really cool. You could even just stop there. But I wanted to continue using the position it because I think it's so fun that you can just keep going over the same image. So I took out my barn door ink, which is um, kind of this pinky bright red. It's a, it's a really cool color. It's one of the new Distress inks. And I'm using my baby wipe again um, and wiping off even more this time. Um, and I'm kind of doing just a curve again, just kind of like a random curve because I didn't want it to be a straight line. I want it to appear very much like a grad, uh, graduated look of color. So, um, gradiated, not graduated. <laughs> Sorry about that. So here we go. Um, I'm stamping again, position it so it's perfectly aligned. And you're going to see that I have this really cool kind of tie-dyed funky umbrella that would have been really hard to do without the position X tool. So, um, here we go. Now you're going to see me trying to get it off with the removal adhesive. I don't know why I couldn't get my fingernails underneath it, but now you can see um, the umbrella as it actually get it in frame. There it is. And um, what a cool look that is. And it's something fun and new to try. So thank you so much to Position It and make sure to head over to Two Sketches for You to see everybody's cards and their tutorials with the Position It. Thank you so much for watching.